would shoot like big flames out the hood as you're driving, which is rad. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Jake. I'm Ian. We've seen hundreds, probably thousands of cars with different wheel and tire setups on them. Now, it's time to judge yours. So we're no experts or professional judges here. I am, but. So we like to think our opinion counts, so we'll be judging some of your builds, uh, starting with a couple today. And as a reminder, if you want your build to be on the next episode, go to our gallery, click the add your ride button, upload a couple pictures of your car, your Instagram, your wheel and tire setup. You'll get featured on our gallery page, entered into our monthly fitment battles to win huge prizes, and uh, you could be on an episode of the show. So Ian, let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. All right, popping into the first one here, we have a 2001 Lexus LS430, I assume we'll get thrown up behind us here here yeah so, somewhere, somewhere here yeah. here here yeah all right so it's 2001 lexus ls 430 this is my favorite generation ls 430 personally I think it's the best one yeah. it's easily the best generation or well like like ls generation in yes general. ls generation obviously the 1999 gs300 is a uh, better that's a car yeah. of all the cars it's yeah. certainly one of them yeah well yeah this one is absolutely slammed what do you think yeah so he's got the basris on there which i think looks really good you know it's it's probably one of the best you know suited wheels for the car the headlights look really clear which one of the first things I oh, get that's when it comes yeah. to an old car that's that's the first thing i always have to replace yeah. in my car so like it looks like the headlights are good the paint quality looks really good i, I mean basris are a great choice and something that makes me really happy about this build he didn't go over the top right mm -hmm. so like a lot of the time and you know we've sold a lot of basris over the years a lot of the time these guys will go and they'll buy like a you know 20 by 12 negative 69 and they'll put it under their car and they'll run like ani camber as someone who's like not a big stance guy mm -hmm. i can definitely appreciate this oh, yeah. because like yeah it's stance but you know it's kind of supposed to be it's a big body and it's, car. it's functional too it's on air suspension as well okay. so that's really no rubbing no scrubbing he is on 20 mil spacers on the rear and i think on the front as well yeah and on, on the, the front, front well. yeah and on the front so you could always rebuild those wheels. Yeah. You could get a little bit more width out mm -hmm. of them. I think I'd like to see this in maybe like four inch lips all around, mm -hmm. plus or minus. But again, then he's getting into that 20 by 12 territory mm -hmm. where he's running a fat stretch. And like, that's that's not my yeah. jam personally. Yeah, and then of course you always run the risk of de-beating and that's not fun, especially for stance guys. Now, I gotta give this guy a little bit of, a little bit of shit here. You got a nice car, you got nice wheels. You know what I'm about to say? Oh gosh, what it? Why you got Lionheart tires? Well, see, maybe he thinks he's going to DB. 215.30. Yeah, 35. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so he's already got a bit of stretch on there, so maybe he's just anticipating running the stretch. And, well, all you stance guys know, don't miss your flip. I, I learned from personal experience. Don't yes. miss flipping your tires every month. That's. Or, I mean, don't miss buying new tires. That's what you should do. There's, there's like a tire tier list, though, where, yeah. like, you've got, like, man, I don't even know how to say this and be nice. You've got brands like Lionheart, and then you've got brands kind of a little bit above that, like your Federal, your Iron Man, mm -hmm. and then you get into stuff that's a little, you know, a little nicer, like, um, I guess Federal's more like Achilles. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, Falcon, and, and up and up mm -hmm. and up from there. So... Get some better tires, and you know the best place to get those tires. Yeah, where, where's that, Jake? Um, uh, you know, I'm not. We could be looking at it right now yeah, on this could computer. Be, that's insane. Could be three piece .us. Yeah, it almost says vehicle gallery. Add your right on the top, and then and oh, then right to the left, to it, yeah. it says tires. Tires. Yeah. yeah. Well, Other than that, though, anything else to say? This is uh, his Instagram. Is sorry, I can't read. Pair LS430. Pair LS430. Of course, we'll probably throw that up there. And Go Nico, check out his ride. That thing is clean. Nico gave us a rating system that okay. we went totally oh, yeah, we do off rate. the rails with. So, you know, appreciate your hard work there, Nico. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think we'll just do out of 10. I On think three. it's like a 7 out of 10, I was man. about to say 7. Yeah. I was about to say 7. Because, look, it's clean. You don't often get the Lexus with those clear headlights. The paint, again, it's photos, so stuff yeah, changes. Yeah, so true. the paint looks clean. Um, and it's a it's a clean overall build. Of course, there's going to be always little points you can get better and do yeah. better on. But I think seven's a great great rating for this. And we car. can't see the interior. The car could have a baller interior setup, so that could add points. But yeah, I'm I'm happy with this one. Next one, we have a 2019 Honda Civic. I think this one's a Type R, or at least has the Type R kit. And oh yeah, his name is yeah. His yeah. Instagram is FK8 Bry. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with Type R kit. Side note, I I. Love talking to my girlfriend about cars because I always talk about in chat, like in chat, she goes mm. like, "Oh, it's an FK8. Oh, that's a you know Z32." Mm. And she's like, "What the f are you talking yeah, about?" Like, Please shut up. <laughs> and she's convinced that all car people are basically like very knowledgeable in one specific subject, and it's chassis codes. All right, so he's on 19 by 10 and a half squared, 
work wheel Meister S13 piece. Purchased from 3 Piece US, by the way, the best work wheel dealer in the country. I hate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, these are a big baller setup. So let me run yeah. you guys through this first. From someone who, you know, sold a lot of work wheels, owned a lot of work wheels, he has the satin bronze, uh, I think this is the new AHG2 color for the mm -hmm. face with the glossy bronze barrel. That's an expensive upgrade. The gold hardware, it comes with a black inner. It's like a $4,000 plus dollar set of Meisters, but man, it, it was worth it on here. I have to say, I don't see many Type R's bagged. In my mind, that's like bagging my GT350, for example. It's like bagging, I mean, how often do you bag yeah. the race car? But I say he pulled it off. I mean, what better way to do it with some, you know, baller, baller Meister S1s? I, think that's I, I do have to, to like, yeah, I do have to say, so like as personally, as an enthusiast, I like to see, you know, performance cars used as performance mm -hmm. cars. I'm sure it's still fun aired up. I think you could probably run a very similar setup or even maybe the same setup. Mm -hmm. He's on a 225-35 Accelerator, which is a pretty good tire, to be honest with you. I think you could probably fit a 245 or 255, which on that 10 and a half, it's going to give you like a like a mild, mild stretch or even a, like a square sidewall and just air the car up and the wheel should still fit pretty well. But you've got a more performance oriented setup yeah. than when you air out instead of trying to fit fender to lip. You could kind of just slide over that that mm -hmm. lip and tuck the wheel if you wanted to stay on air. And of course, this is coming from two people who we like stance cars. Don't get us yeah. wrong. That's why, you know, that's why we're here and have had many of them and have had many. But we're at their boomer era. He's got a Corvette and I've got a Mustang. So <laughs> so I, I'd like like personally again and like I think the build is really well executed. I think it's a beautiful car. Mm -hmm. The photos are really nice, too. Yeah, photos see. really when good. you guys upload your oh, yes. cars to the Please. gallery. Please stop taking pictures with your smart fridge. Like the 2005 potato. They're taking their toaster out and so yes. they got the they got the PSP with the camera attachment. No, like, exactly. We've been so lucky to have one here and even the last set of photos weren't bad either, but well. Those were those are like a, like a Nico's iPhone 7. Nico yes. is going to put his iPhone in the video. I have to give it credit you get the whole car in and everything. Yeah. Also, it's another thing. Don't upload your car with like two, three photos. Like yeah. six photos. Six photos, six please. Six fields for a reason. Yeah. Or five. Or however, the correct number. The correct number. You should know this. <laughs> but no, all in all, this is a beautiful car. There's some really nice parts. One of the things that is really appealing to me is he's got that carbon accent in the, the vent. The vent. Um, you can tell the clear side markers. Like, there's a lot of attention to the small details, which I think is really important when you're building a car that like is not over the top. Is basically, you know, visually speaking, just kind of bags yeah. and wheels. It's got some nice paint matched parts too. Yeah. So that adds like it's nice to flow to the bottom where it's not this like black side skirt or black front uh, lip or anything. So he does the three color rule well with the uh, the black, the bronze, mm -hmm. and the white. A little bit of carbon. It's not excessive. This is a this is a good good model for mm -hmm. like how you how you should build. A, a stance car. Owner's Instagram is fk 8 bry B R Y. And I hope it's Bry. Yeah, we'll throw it up there too, so you guys. Can we'll look throw it at up that. there. I'm gonna give this one. So I'm gonna be really judicious about high scores, mm -hmm. but beyond that, yeah, this is like an eight. And I mean, if you want to rank it against other stance cars, it's like a nine or ten. It's just a personal I, preference. I was gonna go nine personally, just because again, it looks clean. There's no huge appearing rock chips or anything, so. If you happen to have one of those sweet vehicles on some even sicker wheels, be sure to upload it to our vehicle gallery. We have an amazing system with our fitment battles and you have chances to win some big prizes. I personally okay. sold these right. wheels to this guy. Dog Super dog. cool guy. Uh, you're, hopefully you're watching this. Tay's Rage on Instagram. This is a really rare set of wheels. This is a really rare set of wheels back from when we used to do this, where we still get 7,000 DMs a day. By the way, guys, if you're watching this video, we don't do OEM to three-piece conversions anymore. We haven't done it in like two years. We also don't sell lips and barrels anymore. We haven't done it in like two years. So we love you. Thank you for reaching out to mm -hmm. us. You're the best. You're the greatest. But uh, we don't we don't sell it. So just, you know, just stop. Yeah. yeah. OK, so this is a 2008 Acura TSX on some 18 by 10 and 18 by 11 custom oh, those are negative offsets holy shit. yes god damn all right cool yes no these were some redonkulous sizes that yeah. when he picked them up i double triple checked i was like are you sure are you sure and he was like check out the cars i previously owned check out this car right now he's like this is what we do over yeah. here so, i like his plate though yeah the gap plate that's the gap sick plate. wow yeah i think it's sick yeah, oh, he's on he's yeah. on air, which at this point I feel like he I mean Air's the right way to do it. Right yeah, especially do. when you have yeah. that kind of that kind of fitment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are the Stagia mesh, which mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a little bit of a nerd here for a minute. So the Stagia came with a couple different wheel options. They had the split five spoke kind of like the Blitzo three, and then they had the Stagia mesh, 
which were actually a forged wheel. They were made by someone. They were definitely made by someone, that's for sure. Probably Ray's, realistically. So these are actually like a forged center with forged inners and outers, which is really cool. Yeah, super cool. And it's on an Acura. So you got yeah. Nissan wheels on an Acura, which adds some kind of element of cool, too. Got the Honda badge. Also with the Vehicle Galley, your, your Instagram is linked on the page, so people can go in and check if you didn't upload the greatest uh, photos or if they just want more photos. Because I always find myself wanting to look at more photos, like usually four or five photos doesn't do it enough for me when I'm trying to figure out the fitment for my car. Yeah. So I'll try to, you know, I'll go look at their Instagram, I'll go stalk them, shoot them a DM maybe. Hey yo, what the fuck? Or do it's... you want to talk yeah. <laughs> We created our gallery as a means for people to talk more easily to people whose cars they don't like. It's not actually to sell wheels, it's just a mechanism nope, for talking not at all. So here's him driving. Well, he's driving. That looks so clean. Out. Yeah, it looks sick. Oh my goodness. Man's whole career is about to get ruined by one pothole. No, really, yeah. That's... You guys who you guys who drive like this, like I it's it's wild. I've had some stance cars. Like I, I, I've had some low shit. My G S right now is like max for me. Like yeah. I could not do any more camber, I couldn't do any more low. Like that G S is enough for me, but this thing is I've had cars that like rip reflectors off and I would like never do it again. But this is sick, especially on air driving low. I think mm. like if you're gonna have air like and you're gonna drive at like monster yeah. truck ride height, it's kinda cringe. All right, so going back to the pictures of his car here, the wheels look great, the car looks great. The photos are good too, like no hate on the photos. You can tell that the car's really well taken care of, mm -hmm. the paint looks good, it doesn't look like it's a million different mismatched colors, there's some money in those headlights, the lift kit is some kind of, you Honda guys are wild, I don't know what this is, some kind of <laughs> OEM that costs $12,000. There's, $12, there's some like Mugen, yeah. kit, something like that going on. I'm just gonna say that, you know, dude, dude spent a boatload of money on He's some rare scraping. Japanese thing. Oh yeah, I guess we'll talk about camber. So yes, oh, this yes. car has a lot of yes, camber. Yes, a lot of camber. It's got to be. I mean, I'm I'm no scientist, negative, but I'm gonna say like negative fifteen. Negative yeah, 17. Probably, I was gonna say like 12, 12, 15, Yeah, okay, yeah, that, like that. that's Maybe probably more. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> that rear is like riding on the inside. Yeah. Tire bead right there. That's. Oof. But the fenders are clean, and again, like what what makes me happy about this build, the paint looks good, mm -hmm. the lip looks good, the fenders look good. The headlights are clear. Like, I don't, so again, I think I've made it probably pretty clear this episode. I don't personally like stance cars all that much. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to do it, the whole point of your car is to look clean, right? Like, that's the original intent of, like, stance. Like, show cars, clean, you know, clean ride height, clean fitment, all that. Mm -hmm. Make it look clean. Yeah, sorry, we're going to butcher your name. Yeah. Uh, Taze Rage. Taze Rage. Yeah, like, dude is, is doing that with his car a thousand percent. It just looks good. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is something that I think, like, if you're gonna build a car that's kind of outside of the box, mm -hmm. of stance being like outside of the norm of like automotive modification, this is something you could show to anyone. It, you know, show this to your dad, and he'd be like, "Yeah, like I personally wouldn't drive it, but it looks really nice." Yeah, exactly. You're not gonna get somebody who's like scrapes on the front bumper and more than more of those like ain't care guys where they yeah. just you got washers for suspension and you <laughs> you're hitting every pothole you can to get the sparks in the video so yeah no this is a lot cleaner i like this, this yeah is, this it's is not how to do it it's not a tiktok car you know what actually i'm gonna go back to seven and reminding you guys this personal opinion it has too much camber for me mm -hmm. i'd like to see this set up with a little less camber it's it's you could probably fit similarly good looking wheels with less but seven's still a, a great score you know yeah i personally i would do like an eight it's not something i would drive or own Maybe if I had a bajillion dollars in the bank and I could own something like that and just like park it, yeah. not actually do anything with it. Trailer it. Yeah, literally trailer it yeah. to shows. Because I think it's cool. I think it's a flex to like have that much camber to like and drive it and everything, but. I just wouldn't want to drive it. No, exactly. Yeah. It's really pretty. I it's cool to, to look at, yeah. not to drive. All right, Nico so said Nico said he got a surprise for us. Oh. 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 Okay, I think I know where this one's going. One. <laughs> zero, zero. Zero point zero, zero, one. Zero. Solid zero. Solid zero. Um, okay, well, we have a big shocker here. Ian's Lexus I didn't know this was happening, I'll be honest. This is, this is a shock for me, too. Ian uploaded his car to the gallery to help others dial in their fitment, like mm -hmm. our ad says to do. So, do it. Upload no, literally, your, yeah. Upload your car. Upload your car to you the gallery. You know how hard it was when I first got into cars, like, as, like, Baby Ian with his GTI was trying to look for fitment. Yeah, you should have seen the. Still has a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Came out of the womb with it. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> no, but like my first. If you go back looking at old photos of my GTI, my rear wheels are poking out like probably like half an inch, just because I 
you know, I didn't have the know with all. I didn't, you know, have the, the people. I didn't have anything to necessarily look at to go guide, be like, okay, actually, I need, you know, this fitment over this fitment. I was kind of like, yeah, sure, those will fit. So I and first I got into cars in like 2010 or something, 2011 when I turned 16. He's and, old. Yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> no, 2010. 2010. And in 2010, I mean, we were, we were like, you know, five minutes off dial up internet. So, like, any resource like this existing was like a totally far cry. So, we were going through forums and like, hoping we could find whatever. I remember like going out and buying like two sets of wheels from like some dude on Craigslist. He was like, oh yeah, they'll fit. And I got home, bolted on it. It was like eight inches past my fender. I was like, oh yeah, for sure. So yeah, what a great resource this gallery is. You should yeah. upload your car. 100%. I could talk about my car all day. So Ian's I'll let, uh... Lexus GS300 is a manual transmission swap 2JZ GENA GS300 sitting on Toyota Soar OEM to three piece converted wheels built by three piece US. I wonder if people are going to think I'm reading a script like they say in every comment section. Ian's car looks good. I've seen the car in person many times. It's, I'll, I'll be honest here, it's a definition of TikTok Instagram car. Yeah, it's a it, TikTok car. It'll look good on these photos, but. I mean, the second you get up close to it, it's it kind of falls apart. It's pretty sick, though. Like, it's, it's cool. It's, it's cool. It's yeah. like a, like, I would call it, like, the ultimate, like, fun sh box. Like, this is the final boss of, like, fun sh box because it's, like, you've got a GS, which never came manual. You've got a 2J, which if you ever decide to boost it, is, like, cool. It looks sick. Like, I'm always, like, these GSs. They do look like that mother Lilo and Stitch. The, um... What's his Jumba. name? Jumba. Jumba, yeah. Jumba, yeah. They look like Jumba. And, well, if you point out earlier, you notice clear headlights. Yeah, very clear headlights. That's, and you've got the, the Gatling gun projector, which yeah. is cool. You know, it's got some junction produce interior bits. It's got the uh, Nardi out of my GTR because we wound up with this interesting situation where I had a wood grain Nardi and he had a uh, black, black leather, leather Nardi, Nardi. And it was literally like the yeah. perfect direct swap. And so, that, that wood <laughs> steering wheel actually matches the wood on the interior yeah. of the car perfectly. So it worked out. I think you've got like the, the Fanadors. I do have the Banana Doors. <laughs> I have some eBay front lip that everybody and their mom with GSs run. Yeah, like the Vertex style rear. The Vertex style rear lip. Again, this car needs to be repainted. It's not perfect in pictures. It's the fitment on it could use some work. I'll be honest. It's no. It, look, the car. The car is sick. It needs a little five mil or ten mil to dial in. But this this is a good example, guys. Of like, you can buy wheels. You can bolt them on your car. Not everyone needs to be like you know Mr. <laughs> Fender to lift Stance Nation guy. These are eighteen. By, oh yes, we probably should talk about the wheels. Yeah. So these are three piece US conversion Toyota Soar, the uh, directional mesh style. Uh, they're an 18 by 9.5 plus 22 all around with 225.40 Falcon. Uh, they're the ZX. ZX, ZX Z, E, 960. Yeah. Uh, Ian is the first one to be running what I would consider to be a good tire. So, you know, congratulations on that, except Falcons, you know, really suck to stretch. So, you know, my boys at Falcon, if you're watching this, like, make that tread compound work better because our tire guys hate it. But I've had great experiences with my Falcon tires. Uh, it's on coilovers. I think this is on, like, some... Uh, uh, Megan. They're Megan Megans, coilovers. Yeah. They're, like, five-year-old almost 10 year old probably <laughs> little Megan. five mil little five mil spacer so. yeah it's, it's five mil spacers just because if you guys know um a lot of older japanese wheels are not going to clear the oem brake caliper yeah um even like if you go buy vsks or something in that realm you're still going to probably need like a little bit of a spacer to clear that brake i mean it's kind of odd because he's come off a sore and a sore should have the same brakes as gs but yeah you would think but yeah. Yeah, um no a little five mil spacer it looks good the no rubbing are... No at rubbing. All. That's my favorite part of the whole car. Yes, lots of scraping on the front lip, but no rubbing. The wheels are, are inset. I think that's fine. I think, again, you dial this in with spacers, especially if you're set on a wheel. I wouldn't go through all the, you know, Sturm and Drang of relipping these wheels. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to get half an inch of lip, and you're going to spend a bag of money. Yeah. So I, I like it, man. I like the car. Um, the wheels suit it well. I like the Toyota wheels on the Toyota. It's got the Aristo front grille. Yeah, I think it's a great looking car. I mean, personally, like, you know, my, my score having seen the car in real life and my score having seen the car on the internet are two different scores. I yeah. think that's something that, like, a lot of people are going to be guilty of. If you're catfishing in our gallery, I'm going to know. I've seen this shit before. I, I'd say the car, again, I would give, I'd give it, like, a six and a half only because I know what it looks like in real life. Mm. It's, it's a little, little deep. Yeah, it's, it's a little, little it's rough. It's on jack stands at home right now, actually. The, all, like, all the best project cars are. I'll finish it. So I'm going to give it a six and a half. What would you give your own car? Honestly, when I drive, when it's driving, it's like a seven or eight to me because, I mean, manual transmission, it's a slow car, but like the manual adds to the feeling. Yeah. When it's on jack stands and all I can do is look at it and like hope that I fix it, it's like a four because like then I start, you start thinking about all the bad things with it. You start thinking you're like, you're like, oh, well, it doesn't do this. It doesn't do this. But then when you're driving it, you kind of yeah. forget. You forget about all that. You're like, well, this thing's sick.
So speaking of jack stand builds, and uh, you probably know what I'm pulling up right now. Well, it's only fair if we did my car. Yep. So uh, we're doing the other jack stand build here. This is my 1990 Nissan Skyline GTR. It hasn't run in it's two been like years? Almost probably like a year and a half, yeah. The shop that it's at probably, you know, wants to take my kidney at this point because mm -hmm. it's just been sitting every day. But um, so it's sitting on 18, nine and a half plus 22 Heritage Bill Coker Romano C's, which fit super, super flush on the R32 GTR body. Uh, it rubs. Did I, did I lie? I might have said it doesn't rub. No, nope, it rubs. Rub. Yeah, yeah, slight rub. Yep. That's and perfect. I can confirm it does rub. It does rub. Um, I had about why it rubs. Uh, so the frame is kind of like a pretzel, <laughs> if you will. I bought this car. Uh, it had been in a ditch. Now looks like it's been in slightly less ditches than it was. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, this is a this is a, a rough GTR. Um, it's a rare Motorex. It is a Motorex R32 Skyline GTR, and we'll do a history of Motorex at some point video. Um, the car's got so the Coker Romano C's. It had the Falcon, a Zenith R6 or RT 615K Plus. Falcon. Falcon tires, great tires. I made a little too much power for that one. It's it, fast. We so yeah, you had a you said a butt dyno of like five something originally. It made it made five something 530 or something on Andrew Molina's dyno now over look, in my, my Golf R dyno at about 480 and yeah. that thing put buses on it a little conservative dyno yeah it's probably making close to 600 or something like that yeah. I had full well, interior he had full interior he has full interior yeah yeah so actually no I didn't have full interior because I took my back seats out yeah I had full interior so yeah no it was a, it was a super fun car hasn't run in two years you guys will probably see this car on the channel when I um you know turn my pocket lint into money but I the fitment was good I will say that yeah I the was fitment was good the fitment. yeah the fitment, I like the fitment on it my favorite part was the heart-shaped hood the exit. The heart-shaped hood exit, yes. That yeah. was a very cool touch, and it would shoot like big flames out the hood as you're driving, which is rad. <laughs> this thing is just cursed, and my memories of it are cursed. just cursed, and it's it like got state ref. Like, I yeah. was there. Yeah. I rating my own car, I would say that it's, a, it's an R32 GTR, so like, you know, you got to give it a lot of points for that. It, yeah, it's got to get at least over a certain number. It's like a five that. though, because it's pretty <laughs> thrashed. <laughs> It's pretty rough, like, uh, God, I hope I never go to sell this thing because I'm, like, doxing the whole car right now, but I think there's probably more Bondo and, like, prayers on this car than there is anything else. My favorite is the front half is a different gray than the rear half. Yes, well, that yeah. would be because the previous owner put the front half into a ditch, oh, yeah. and I had to buy a front half from JDM of California. <laughs> So uh, we do have two different KH2 grays. Uh, the car will get painted at some point, but I, I always, it's like a five out of 10 for me in terms of like um, cleanliness mm -hmm. and like the reality of ownership. And it's like a, like a seven out of 10 in terms of like fun, but it is still just like a five. So the car, the car is rough and I don't want to take away from other GTR owners. Yeah, no, exactly. Opinion. It's, yeah. it's like a five or six. I would give it an eight just cause I like, I like driving stupid cars like that. Yeah. And so driving it was fun, but surface level, just looking through a gallery, it's, it's yeah. a five or six. It's a five or six. Right, yeah. We did five cars. We switched it up on Nico today. We if, probably won't do five cars in the future, or hey, if you guys really like this and want longer episodes, then we might do five cars. To be able to do more episodes, we have to have more cars, meaning you guys have to submit more cars to our vehicle gallery. We need we need the actually like the hip upload your car. So the way you do that is you go over to www.3piece.us, click on the add your ride button in the header or in the footer or like I think it's like 12 other places. Put in your information. We are going to sell it to Russian data farms, by the way. And then uh, you can <laughs> upload your car to the gallery and you can show it off for everyone. Plus, we've got a really cool system coming out in February, I hope. Joseph, if you're watching this, it better be done. <laughs> better be ready. Hypnotoad <laughs> Joseph. Finish it. <laughs> We're coming out with a really cool system called Fitment Battles, which uh, we're going to talk more at length about probably as we get a little closer to it, but holy shit, it's really close to February anyway. Yeah, it is. Where you guys can get entered to win some really cool prizes by having your car in the gallery. And the only way to do that is with your car in the gallery. Upload your yeah. car to the Just gallery. Just because you follow us on Instagram doesn't doesn't mean you're entered. All right, guys, so I think that about sums it up. Head on over to 3 pieceus click the Add Your Ride button, upload your car to our vehicle gallery. We will take a look at it. We may roast it, we may tell you we like mm -hmm. it, you may win our fitment battles and win huge prizes. Big prizes. Just like that, you're done, you're set. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ignore the part where I said I'm selling your data to Russian data farms. I'm yeah, probably not doing that. that. Uh, See yeah. you in the next one.